I think after my flight to Singapore, I was pretty exhausted and I feel like I had jet lag of the year. So I took a break a little bit because I was not feeling it. I was not able to record any video. So today I wanted to talk about something that really caught my attention. And that's after I did a video on KMP, that is Kotlin Multiplatform, which used to be called KMM, but now it's KMP, and then Flutter, and also building natively. Now, somebody asked me a very good question on Twitter and also I think on my video about the difference between Swift UI and Jetpack Compose and are they easy to learn for somebody that wants to build natively? And what I can say actually is that it is pretty interesting how com comparable they are, the two languages. Like, okay, Kotlin and Swift kind of like are similar in a way. I don't find the syntax to be very, very different, especially for Swift UI and, and Jetpack Compose. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm just gonna show you an example of an app that I'm building that I'm super, super proud of that I'm actually building in Kotlin and in Swift. And I think sometimes as a way to challenge myself to learn new things, I like to experiment because I feel like that's how you learn best, just experiment. And what I've been doing is for instance, I have, I'm just gonna showcase only one, which is, I'm just gonna showcase this particular card. And this is a card that I I wrote in, uh, in Jetpack Compose, cause this is Android. And as you can see here, this is how it looks. But when you compare this to the Swift UI, which I'm gonna click here, and I know my video is gonna disappear. So as you can see here, they're pretty similar. They're, the syntax and the way we write them, it's pretty similar. And the modifier, I, I don't think Swift calls it the modifier, but for some reason, they look pretty, pretty alike. And also very, very similar. So what I would say is that yes, indeed, they are very, very comparable. And it's easy for people to learn. But I want to hear from you all. What do you think? If you played around with them both, what do you think? Now, the other thing, though, that I might say is that if you're not very familiar with Jetpack Compose, trying to do Swift UI might become a little bit challenging because then that also brings up the big learning curve on Swift. But I feel like for me, somebody who's been doing Jetpack Compose now, I would say for three years, I mean, it became easy for me. And I say this because I have an app, Budgeting Buddy. And when um, when they released Jetpack Compose, I decided to go refactor most of the screens that I had for Budgeting Buddy to start using Jetpack Compose. And the reason why I did this, I just wanted to learn Jetpack Compose. Even though at my current work, I was writing an SDK. And in SDKs, we don't have so many screens, so we are not able to build, like let's say with the latest, and I think many can attest, people who, let's say, write SDKs can say, and SDK is software development kit. So I used to write an SDK that's used by other developers. So that's pretty different. But now writing an app, which is something that I enjoy the most. I mean, I found writing SDK pretty tough because we use a lot of uh, uh, React programming that is Rx. And um, it's pretty interesting. I loved, actually, I love the power of Rx. It's pretty cool. But building apps also is pretty cool. And I'm just gonna showcase the app. Then this is, um, I just, I'm just gonna show the snippets because this is a project that I'm super, super excited about. But this is, as you can see here, this is uh, a screen in, this is an iPhone, as you can see, and this is an Android. And I'm able to write the logic for both of them without struggling. Cause again, I think it comes with experience. And that's why I normally say, Take your time to learn them. Don't rush through it. And people who tell you that you can learn how to code in one day, I think they're lying. I don't think you can learn to code in one day. It takes time. But definitely once you understand one, it becomes easier. So for anybody who's wondering, they already know how to build Jetpack Compose. Can they build Swift? The answer is yes. I've done it myself. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. As you can see, I'm building this project natively because I, I'm the one that decided to do that based on preference because I thought, what if I learned, because it's if I wanted a job as a mobile architect, it's easy for me now, because at least I understand both of this world. Like I understand how to build in, in iOS, I understand how to build in Android, and it's easy for me to debug. Like if somebody something was happening, I'm, I'm able to jump in and say, yeah, this is what happened here. Now, the only thing I can say is that I am not, with the project structures, especially in, in iOS, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect yet, because I'm just still packaging it as, 
it should be packaged. Of course, I have tests because it's important to have tests. And I feel like that's the one thing that I learned, which was super cool to write the test in Swift. It's pretty interesting. But again, somebody that knows Jetpack Compose can easily learn Swift UI. So just to answer that question, you can definitely do that. And watch it for the next video that I'll be doing for the Modern Android development ser series. And I'll be doing a login screen. So yeah, come let's build together on Thursday. Bye.